Hey all, it's me, Laura B. at Craft and See with Laura B. How is everyone today? I'm pretty good. It is Friday for me, and this will go up Monday for you. And uh, anyway, I'm doing some more on these. Uh, mm, I, I, I've got it in my head. Oak House Journal Tags. <laughs> I know. Please. And I'm really feeling like I want some coffee. And I think it's a little side, but I think that it's, I want coffee because it's an association. You know, I film a video, I have coffee. You know, back when I, the first thing I did in the morning was drink coffee and now I drink tea. Anywho, here we are. I'm going to have a slurp of that tea, which is pretty much cold and has um, metallic watercolor paint on it. Oh well. Alright, so here are the first two tags that we did on Friday. To, actually, today's video. But it's tomorrow, Monday's video for you. I know. It's all confusing. So I did this one, did that one, did the back. I don't know if I showed you, but I put the tree and the little uh, uh, crow on there. Now, I did show you that I put crackle paste on these other ones. And I ran into an issue with crackle paste. It flaked off of the um, photo paper. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I I tried uh, coating it with, it came off. And it, it turned out to be a happy accident. Because I really like that. And then I covered it with clear gesso because, um, as you can see, photo paper scratches really really easy if you don't put a coating on it so here's this one and I'm not quite as happy because it's not as glossy but you know who knows we can maybe make it work this is the other one where I kind of went with it and not all of it has come off yet it will if I really wanted it to it could come off this one I did not um, do with clear gesso obviously I got smart and used hairspray so hairspray has made it not completely scratch proof but highly scratch resistant anyway so most of this crackle paste I came off and just kind of like that I used a scraper and this stuff gets everywhere so if you're gonna do this keep your mouth shut while you're doing it <laughs> Don't be a mouth breather. But anyway, so that's what it looks like. How it comes off. And so there's that one, which, you know, I still like. Now, this is the one where it just went off the rails. Oh, my gosh. So I uh, make sure that it can be seen. Did so many things to it. And this was another one that I had clear gessoed like this. Um, and then I tried to, oh, well, let's use alcohol inks. And that looked horrible. So I set it aside and came back this morning and then went with watercolors over it, which worked out a little bit more. And then I went over it with a white shimmery. Anyway, so this is a little bit better, but still, and it looks better on camera than it does in person from what I'm seeing. Anyway, so there is that one. So then I liked the happy accident so much that I took two more of my cards that I couldn't find and then found them in, when I was laying those flat, I found them in one of my big squishy books that I used to, you know, kind of flatten my papers out. Anyway, so I did this one, the same flowers. I really like it, but of course, first I sprayed all of these, these and all of these, with hairspray so they th don't scratch as easily. Um, and this is what it looks like when you scratch all or most of the crackle paste off. And I really like how it turned out. And I'm going to leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Because I like it. <laughs> I like it so much more. I do have to say that if I am expecting a phone call from my podiatrist's office. Um, and so if they call, I have to, I have to stick that. Anyway, so we are going to start with, I don't know, I also picked out um, some of my jelly print backing papers 
to use. Email. So how about we back these suckers? I kind of like that one. Um, while whilst I'm waiting, and then oh, that needs some of that stuff needs glued back down. That right there. Anyway, so I just did some weed eating up top. Where you go? There's no glue coming out of it. Um, and I stopped because the you know it's just it's a weed eater for a very small area. It's battery operated. Apparently, from the couple men I have talked to that have the gas powered, they're. They take a lot of strength and stamina. And I th both men are like, yeah, you're not going to be able to do it. Well, and one guy explained why. He's like, you know, it's not just the weight that's the problem. It's the, this kind of, the wrist action. And well, we all know I have arthritis in my wrist. And I was just lamenting and scolding myself because, you know, just went in there for about, you know, 45 minutes or so of weed eating, and trust me, it's not even half done. And uh, my wrists hurt because I didn't wear my wrist brace because I completely forgot about it. Dip. Dip, dip, dip the animals. So. Anyway, so there we are. Digit. Does anybody... Did anybody do anything fun on the weekend? Um, what am I going to do? Not much. I've got to you know, work more on getting this place crutch and scooter and wheeled walker proof. Which means, you know, organizing, which I'm just not good at it. All of you that are good at organizing... Get down and thank your lucky stars that you were made that way because oof, the struggle, as I say, the struggle is real. And so that's why I'm calling. So yesterday I tried to change, went to change Joe's primary care physician to mine. Now originally we had the same doctor, but you know, we were both new and David wanted him to go to, I feel like I have something in an area that's bothering me. Um, they wanted him to go to a doctor they've been with for many, many moons and blah, 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 blah. And I understood. And, you know, my doctor is very soft-spoken, but he, uh, he's not one of the, he's not authoritative. Like, I'm the doctor and I tell you what's for. He's more of a come to dis decisions together is what I'm trying to say anyway uh, I really like him and you know it was thought that their doctor would be better and I understand that but anyway so his yearly appointment was not made until last December so he had one in December you know his annual and he really needs to go to the doctor more than once a year. He's not healthy. Uh, anyway, that's my opinion. Uh, what am I trying to say? So anyway, um, but the doctor had to, what I call, go catch a baby. And so he canceled it. Apparently they must have had a scheduled C-section. You know, and babies take priority. Shoot. Oh, well, we're done. <laughs> it's just slightly off. <laughs> I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, right there. Anyway, so they canceled it. And they rescheduled the earliest they could get him in, which was July 15th. You know, so last December to July. So, you know, eight months. Almost. It was the end. It was right around Christmas. So anyway, they call me 
for the first time since he's been with that doctor, Joe, you know, his brother's doctor, for the first time, they've called me and said, well, you're the primary number we have. And I'm like, um, when did that happen? Anyway, so uh, I told them, they said that, well, he has to cancel because he's going to be out of town on that day. Okay. And if you want him to get in to see his, and they're like, we need you, you know, what do you want to do? You want to want to reschedule, you know, and I'm like, I don't know. I, you know, his brother takes him to his primary care doctor. I end up taking him to urgent care and everything else that goes on. And, you know, I have to get with him and see what he wants to do. And they're like, well, okay, you know, if he wants to see his primary care physician, I think I told you all this, uh, it's going to be the next appointment he has. <laughs> and if I did not tell you, I hope you're sitting down for this because it's just like... <laughs> Everybody that hears this is like, what? Uh, is March of 2025. Yes, you heard me right. March of 2025. March. That's how far out, you know, he schedules. He can't get in any sooner. And I was like, well, wow. Let me get with his brother and see what his brother wants to do. Because, you know, he's... He's the one who's been doing the primary care visits. Anyway, and so before I can even get a hold of his brother, uh, they call me back. Well, we re need to reschedule Joe, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I know. You already talked to me, and I'm still, you know, i got to get a hold of his brother. You know, I, his brother, his store doesn't open until 11, so I try not to text him before 10. You know, so I know that I'm not. For the most part, I'm not getting him at home. Uh, oh, God forbid I do that. Anyway, so... So his brother finally texts me back, and I have this whole list of reasons why... This was two days ago. This whole list of reasons why, you know, Joe needs to switch to my doctor. Blah, blah, blah. So I call him, and he's like, are you kidding me? He's just, they just canceled it in December. And I'm like, I know. This is what they're saying. You know? Um, and he agreed to switch to, you know, my primary, which, you know, had been Joe's for a hot second when we first moved up here. <laughs> so anyway, oh, it's just a fiasco, I tell you, a fiasco. So then I'm like, you know what, after I get to, you know, talk to his brother and get all that stuff, and I'm like, how do you get in so quickly? He goes, well, I'm type 1 diabetic, so he goes out and forces me into the schedule. But still, you know. Anyway, so, he was less than happy. Uh, so, back to the story we go. Um, anyway, so I get this bright idea on today's Friday, on Wednesday, you know what, I might want to check with his, you know, my doctor, and make sure, the doctor, and make sure he's actually accepting new patients, because, you know, wow, you know, what if I call the insurance company to switch his primary, and come to find out they're not taking, he's not taking new patients, and guess what, he's not taking new patients, <laughs> egg on my face, right, so I'm like, the the lady girl who answered the phone, I think her name is Julie, I think. It's the same one, I know it is. And she goes, well, I'll see what I can do, you know. And she acted like she was pretty hopeful, and I was, you know, and I explained to her. And she was extremely <laughs> professional. <laughs> Note the semi-sarcastic tone and the trying to do air quotes as I glue. Because when I told her when he could get in, she was, <laughs> her response was, Jesus. <laughs> and I had to laugh. I'm like, I know, right? So anyway, uh, they obviously are busy and stuff, and I call back, today's Friday, today's Friday, right? Yeah. My aunt, maybe I did this on Tuesday, because it seems to me like there's an extra day in there that I'm missing. But anyway, so yesterday, um... I'm waiting for a call back from his nurse, and I don't get one. And anyway, I call back at some point. It must have been yesterday. I called in the morning, and whatever. The point being, 
I'm like, I've got to report to his brother, so I need to kind of know what's going on. And Julia, who's not his nurse, she's like, she says, I'm a front desk girl. <laughs> and she says, she goes, oh, I have a message for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. She says, Dr. Lady is willing to accept him. And I should probably edit his name out. But anyway. But, you know, he is, and I'm like, oh, great. And and everything. So then I called the insurance company. And of course, they don't have me on file as his blah, 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 even though I am one of the medical power of attorneys. And so, um, and then, so I get his permission and everything. And then I get, get cut off. It's, I was like, are you kidding me? Um, actually, actually what it was is Joe hung up the phone with his ear. Because I had him on speaker, but he didn't realize that. And he, so he cut them off, shut them off with their, his ear, which I do all the time. So I call back and get somebody different and explain everything. But while they don't even bother asking, you know, for his permission to talk to me at first. But in order to change his physician, they need his permission to change his physician. So anyway, I get all that. You know, and it's a hassle. And I, they, these are kind of things that frustrate me frustrate me very quickly. I mean, very quickly. I'm really, I'm horrible about it. I, it really just, ugh. Oh, sorry, my leg is just all that grass. Uh, so, I get to, we get to the changing the physician, and they're like, he doesn't accept United. Um, what? Well, he doesn't accept United. Yes, he does. And by this point, you know, I'm, the tears of frustration are starting. I know, I get it. You're probably rolling your eyes and what do I am, but I'm serious. These kind of things are just, get to be too much. And websites, and if they don't work properly, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I get this when I call back and got that, the second person at the insurance company, it was a very, very, very bad connection and very staticky. So I'm trying hard to hear him through the static and obviously it was fine for him because he never said anything. And uh, so here we are. <laughs> I'm use these, see if I can put these fairies on here. See if that would go kind of cute. So we get on the phone and we get on the phone with my doctor's office because the practice had been bought out and the tax ID number had changed. That was what the issue was. The tax ID number. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm trying to do all this and talk at the same time. <clears throat> and, you know, now I'm getting tickly throat. But you have to hear, I know you're just wrapped attention to, you know, the fiasco that is the insurance <laughs> companies. So, uh, we get, get to the doctor, get to the doctor's office and try to give the new tax ID number, which I do. And they're like, he's still not on file. And I'm like, by this time I'm, what, Mrs. Missy, I'm, by this time I'm getting, I'm, you know, my frustration level is, is to the point where all I can do is laugh, you know, like laugh because I'm going to cry. <laughs> Plus, or yell because I'm so frustrated, and I don't like. It. I try not to take it out on other people. I fail, but I try. And that's the that's the important part. Okay, I'm not finding anything. I'm like, cause I'm talking so much. Let's get in this one. Yeah, other flowers. No, this is not your flowers. You put everything away. <clears throat> I don't want flowers. <laughs> so sorry. I probably should start over this video over from where we're at. Because <clears throat> now I'm coughing. Yes, Missy, I see you, but you're you're fine where you're at. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. I found what I'm gonna do. I just gotta find one I like. So uh, insurance. I gotta get my, I'm sorry, I'm getting my place. Yes, I, no, I don't have time. I, Isabel, I don't have time. Yes, you're a good girl. If you want, I'll pet you very quickly, but you gotta come over here. 
Come on. Come on. Come over here. I'm sorry, y'all. But you know, dogs are like toddlers. No, you're fine. She's over here on the couch, just wiggling her little bulldog butt away. You know, with her her front legs on this arm of the sofa. Well, come here. Well, come here. Expecting me to go to her. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Go, girl. Go, girl. You want to say hi? You want to come say hi? Come on. Come say hi. No, come on. Come on. Come say hi. Can you get up there? Can you get up there? Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. You, 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 you. I'm trying to get your head. There she goes. There she is. Yes. Okay. You're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You know. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Nope. Just can't quite get there, huh? All right. Down. Down. Go. Go right down. Thank you. Good girl. Sorry about that. You know how they are. You know how they are. They're like big old toddlers. I want attention now. And so, uh, anyway. Oh, the doctor. They get a new tax ID and they're all like, he's not the doctor. They're, we don't have him. We don't have him. We don't have him. And, you know, she's, bless her heart. She, the woman deserves a raise. Okay, I like that one. Um, I wanted to use him on something. Earlier, I never got to. Yes, you're fine. Nope. Nope, nope. I know. Where did I put that? Hang on. I'm looking for something that I can... There it is. I think. I bought this cheesecloth a long time ago and it's more like bandage. <laughs> so, um, the whole thing ended up being where, uh, his primary care physician is my doctor, our doctor, the same doctor. However, because he's not pulling up in the system for whatever stupid blip, 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 blip reason, um, a hard time with these scissors cutting anything. Oh, for crying. There. Fabric scissors. Anyway. He, his name won't pull up that he's contracted with United. So, Got it all figured. He, there, so what they did is they put this other doctor that may have started the practice seniority. I don't know. I, I've never met this doctor. I This first time, pretty much the first time I've heard his name. Anyway, so he's on the card, but my doctor is his actual doctor. Our, our doctor now. It was just, it was a fiasco, I'm telling you. It was just the worst. I kind of like that, so that's what I'm doing. Got to cut fuzzy cut him a little bit. Good God, we're at 23 minutes, because I'm yammering on. So yeah, that is the story of yesterday. So I'm calling my podiatrist back because there's this whole thing about the same primary care and something about billing, changing something and until the first and they get the certain code because, you know, he's he doesn't come show back up until the first of June and they can't schedule it and it's just this whole cluster you know what, absolute Fubar, but the Fubar has now become apparently a snafu. Just because otherwise I would have had surgery two days ago if my doctor <laughs> primary had shown up as he was actually practicing with with the insurance because they kept trying to tell me my insurance ended. 
you know, oh, you're not covered at the end of this month. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Your insurance ends. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, it was just like this back and forth. So I'm hoping she calls this morning so I can let her know on the new thing, which may or may not prove a hiccup for them. I don't know because I haven't talked to her. I just got all this new 411. And I just want my foot surgery. However, well, I don't think I'll have it any earlier than the 3rd of July. And I really think I'm going to have to offload the, uh, my Mariner's ticket. Because it's only 18 days post-surgery. And... I'll probably be able to drive by then. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how slow do I heal. Um, this has been there for two months. That's been there, for, or more than two months. That's been there for a good month. This I just did yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, so I'm thinking it's not necessarily getting to the train station, boarding the train. It's from where the train drops us off to the stadium is a, a few minutes walk. Not a huge walk. You know what, I, think I'm gonna, I bet I can just do it this way. But enough that it might make it very difficult for me to do that soon after surgery since I don't obviously don't heal the fastest. And I would have to maneuver it and then maneuver the stadium down to my seats, and I'm not going to give up my 10th row seat for higher up if I don't have to, because, you know, I'm the handicap accessible. I just don't want to do that. Anyway. Since this gauze is more what it is, I'm hoping it will I didn't have to glue it there. Man, that's the whole fiasco with that. Just... Ugh. Anyway, Joe has a new doctor, and then I am waiting for his brother to let me know if he wants me to make his... You know, they have to have an intake uh, appointment before he can have his annual... Do you want me to make that? Do you want to do that? I don't know. Let me know. Idaho is a bow. It just... Who would have thought all that was going to be such a cluster you-know-what? Somebody's driving by, but they're rocking you the plane. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything that I like. Let me, I've got one more place I can check. I know, I know, I do. To make a little pull. Next generation theme, and then it, but didn't really, and then it morphed into something else, and welcome to my world. I'm just seeing what I have in here that might, I might like. So a while ago I took this sorry silk that they sewed into one long strip and then, you know, kind of sort of tied it together. And so I un I seam ripped all the
Oh, so what did I do yesterday morning? Did I film yesterday? Yeah, I did film yesterday. I probably told you all of this about spending the better part of two hours um, better part of two hours covering cardboard with tin foil and then stringing it up just in case um, just in case it was a daytime predator, like a hawk that got my hen. I made that a little bit too long. I forget what I say. Cause I know I did it early in the morning. And I meant to upload today, Friday's video, um, last night, you know, get it ready to go first thing in the morning. And I completely, yeah, I did make this too long. Completely forgot. Completely. So. And that might have been too short. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I gotta, I gotta staple that. Shoot on it. Crap on a crap cracker, y'all. Why did, I wasn't thinking. I know that happens, but I wasn't thinking. Crud. Oh, well. Okay, I fixed it. I'll keep these people ones. I know. Because then it tightens it. She hears something. I think she sees a squirrel. <laughs> She's just running up and down the deck along the fence line trying to figure out. Catch whatever. Oh, for God's sake. There. I'm just having a time. There. 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 Okay. That's good enough for me. Good enough for government work, right? Let's see what Joe wanted. He's asking, and Joe was asking about the chickens. Um, I wanted to know if there were any more missing. No, 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 no. Thank God there are none more. None more? There aren't any more. I'm going to use these. And not the snarky ones either. I'll be nice and not use the snarky ones. beautiful moments. And here is some of that that there. good enough. Maybe I can whip out the second one faster. What do you think? Probably not. And I'm actually going to use my crocodile on this one. Make it just a tad wee bit. Oh, I know. Someone who's I've already forgotten, and I apologize muchly for this, um, sent me this. I think it might be Ellen. I apologize for my inability to remember who sent me what because you know I could be one of those people that 
totally has everything organized, all of their happy mail and everything else, but <laughs> it's amazing that I organize my, uh, some of my craft room and see, dang it. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'll have to use a better one. That's what I was saying in my last video, is being able to put the appropriate amount of pressure on this. That, and my hands are just not really cooperating. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Oh, shift it. Alright, so, well, that is disappointing, and I didn't do it very hard. Um, and this one, I'm going to use actual ribbon, which I have down here. I only have so much room on this desk. So let's see what we can get up to in here. I bought a bunch of ribbon. So I got in a discussion with somebody on Facebook <laughs> the other day. I mean, it wasn't a bad discussion at all, but it was like, oh my gosh. Talk about my nerd coming out. So I saw this. Tell me I didn't make it too short. I saw this photo of that somebody had put on there, you know, one of those funny things. And it was like. It showed the street, and it, two of the houses had flags up, and the first, closest one was Federation, um, Federation of Planet Star Trek. <laughs> and he's like, one of my neighbors put up the Federation flag, and then the one down the street upped it by hanging out his Klingon flag, hope there's not a fight. <laughs> Something like, you know, hope there's not a war brewing. And I posted it because I thought it was really funny, you know, because I'm enough of a good night almighty. Oh, for bleep's sake. You know what? That's just not. Ugh. Ugh, people, ugh. This is just not my day. There we go. I want something a little bit more substantial. There. And, and, and of course, this is too much. Anyway, and so I thought it was really funny, and then a uh, quasi friend of a friend message. He's like, who had the bird of prey? And I'm like, the Romulan. Or something like, oh, something about who's worst or whatever. And I, Oh, I, okay, that's what it was. When I posted it, when I shared it, I had put, good, you know, next thing we know, we're going to hear from the Cardassians. And so it started this whole discussion on... What's it? On uh, Star Trek and... And I was actually surprised at my knowledge. I truly was. I was like, I told Don, hey. I said, I'm really this discussion I'm in. I'm like, I'm very surprised at my knowledge. And, and I am going to put one of these and I'm going to put it on the back because I like them. And I'm going to use these I got from Timu. They're little jars that have stickers, you know, that you layer. I'm going to put it on the back. Anyway, uh, that's, these are just backing. How did I get in there? So yeah, I told her I was surprised at my knowledge of Star Trek. And I told her I'm letting my freak flag fly. And that is very difficult to say. Freak flag fly. Believe it or not. I think what I want to do is put 
the little guy, little fairy, sitting on that, but that is too small. As in, nope, that's too small. I bet this will be, it needs to be tall enough that the Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put this one down first. I really am embarrassed that I can't get more than two tags done because I, I'm indecisive. You know, I could be one of those people that have everything out and, you know, all they do is put them together, which is perfectly fine. I am just not that. Actually, I want to come up here with this. So I'm going to see if I can put this guy underneath. Yeah. Just. There. Come on, come on. Don't, 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 don't. Get up here. Get down here. I'm trying to get it just... There we go. Leave it. Anyway. Um, I don't even remember. I'd be so concentrating on this. I kind of, kind of forgot. Other outside of my freak flag flying. With the whole Star Wars Trek thing. Star Wars. Oh my gosh. I know the difference. They're not anywhere near the same other than they're set in space. That's about the only thing that's similar about them. Oh, that's going to be so cute. And why did I do that? thing about magic to go on the front. I might have something in here. Up in here, up in here. There we go. Magical. I don't like that. I don't like the, the style. The style does not match and go well in my opinion. What do we have in here? Nope. Alright. are medieval type ones and quotes from Kyung over at, um, ooh, let's try this one. No, maybe not. Nope. Alright. That's not going to work. Get back in there. Get back in there. I'm going to just set this aside. I am really trying, There, I have something in mind and I'm trying to think what it is. I can't seem to, there, I can't seem to bring it forth. Let me see. We're gonna cut this. Oh my gosh, 43 minutes on two friggin' tags. I should be ashamed. Stamp it technically at an angle, but I sure cut it at an angle, didn't I? I? Try not to get it to be a trapezoid or whatever shape you don't want. And let me. Oh, I have a big old mess on my desk. Big old mess.
one B. I'm just throwing it back in here. Yep, there we go. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, for crying out loud, come back here. I want to pay off. for one of my teams. There you go. It's one of those tunes, I don't know where it comes from. It's just something I tend to hum. There we go. I just kind of want, what I'm looking for is just a little bit of a neutral. Fairly neutral. And it takes off some of the white, but isn't quite a color either. I don't like that one. It's just making it difficult. Here we go. I sure have a love-hate relationship with this three-in-one. Volcanoes, it gets stuck to my fingers. It, I just find it vexing in general, but yeah, I don't like how it gets on my fingers and doesn't want to come off. There, tag number four, I think, done. All right, so we did this one today, and yes, my desk all of a sudden is like a huge hot mess wreck. How does that happen? So these two are done today. So I have actually one, two, three, four. If I wanted to, I could just send these one of each, you know, but I may do more. I may, 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 may. Okay. So this has gone on, drug on, oh my gosh, long enough. Oh, holy heck, heck, heck. Mm -mm -mm. So, if you like what you have seen, if I haven't bored you absolutely to tears, my long, long drawn out story about this insurance company BS. I mean, seriously. I mean, because she's like, you know, he, he is here, I show him, you know, under my health care that yes he is covered by the plan he contracts with it is what I'm trying to say and they're like no he's not we don't see him <laughs> but we got it done his just when you get it get his insurance card the doctor that he has is not going to be the doctor that's on it but not, the billing doctor apparently I don't know it, it, it's, uh, I was a nurse I didn't work behind the scenes in the billing and all that stuff. So anyway, here we go. These two tags, I really like them. Collect beautiful moments. And the little fairy, the wee folk inside the jar sitting on the mushrooms. I think that looks really cute. I like it. I like it, like that. So the ones we did yesterday, good God, I'm slow. And these. Anyway, again, if you like what you have seen, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment in the comment box. So, you know, even if you're just feeling sorry for me. <laughs> okay. That. Take pity on me. Drop a comment in the comment box. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not. Share with your friends. Your, you know, friends and dogs. Your dog's friends. The, your dog's friends' friends. Yeah. The deer down the street. And on that note, I bid you adieu and peace out. Bye, guys.